get started with API Connect on IBM Bluemix. Start by going to console.bluemix.net. There you will see the opportunity to create a free account. Fill out the form to create a new account and click Create Account. You will be sent an email to confirm your new account. Go to the Confirm Account URL or click the Confirm Account button in the email that you receive. On the confirmation page, click Log In. On the login page, enter the email that you use to create the account and click Continue. Enter your new account password and click Log In. You see an initial apps page. Click Catalog in the black header in the upper right. On the Catalog page, click APIs in the navigation menu. On the APIs page, click API Connect. On the API Connect page, click Create. Now you need to set up some environment. First, begin by selecting the region where your Bluemix account runs. In this case, we are selecting U.S. South. Then, enter the name of your organization. This name could be any name that you like. Once you have entered the name, then click the Create button. Now, you create a space, which helps you Organize resources and permissions. When you've named your space, click Create. Bluemix presents you with a summary page of your organization and space names. If you agree with what you see, click I'm ready. Bluemix generates your environment for creating your APIs. You are shown the dashboard and on the dashboard you see your first catalog which is the automatically generated sandbox catalog. Here in the lower right hand corner you also see the guided tour which we will follow in this video. Click Import API to begin. The guided tour presents you with the opportunity to import a sample API. Click import a sample API as shown here. The sample climbing weather API is already selected for you. Simply click import. Importing a sample API predefines many of the configuration values that you need to set in order to create your API. You see your info, your contact, your base path, your security definitions, and even finally the path that your external developers will use in order to invoke your API. Once you've looked at all of this information, click Generate and Publish on the guided tour, as shown. The guided tour presents you with the link to generate a default product. Click this link as shown here. As a result, you see the dialog box to generate a new product. Click Generate in the lower right hand corner. Your new product and API are successfully created as shown in the banner. Now you are ready to explore your new API. The guided tour prompts you to select the catalog to explore. Click Sandbox. The Explorer shows you the available APIs in your catalog, the operations available within that API, and also shows you how to invoke that API. Click Test on the guided tour to go ahead and test your new API. Enter a latitude value, a longitude value, and then click Call Operation in the lower right hand corner. On the Test Results page, 
you can see exactly how the API was invoked. You can then see what the response of that invocation was. Scrolling down, you can see more of the data that was returned from calling the API. Now, click Analytics on the guided tour. You see an example of the extensive analytics that are presented to you as the developer of the API. This is very good information for understanding how your customers are using your APIs.